take your practice to the cliche of practice like you play, but when you play, you usually don't hit the same club twice in a row. Usually you don't hit two or three drivers, well there's people out there that like their mulligans, but usually you don't hit two or three drivers in a row. Yet I see on the range how many times, I've seen the record, 433 in a row with the driver. Try to break that record. You don't hit multiple seven irons in a row on the course. You don't hit multiple wedges, usually, same length. But that's what we see people doing out here. But that's not preparing you mentally to play out there because this is golf swing. Out there is golf game. Just because you make your golf swing better on this range does not mean your golf swing gets better on that course. What have you been practicing? Positions, keeping your head down, left arm straight, turning your shoulders, lag, blah, 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 blah. How much have you been practicing your mental and controlling your anxiety so you're here instead of what you likely see where a lot of people, it's like this. This is the round of golf. Hole one, two, three, four, hole five, hole six, hole seven, hole eight, hole nine. And then at this point, you look up and you, you look at your scorecard so bad you don't care anymore. And then you get to 10 and you don't care anymore. So anxiety, what did it do? It lowered and skill went up. And you didn't even know that happened, that skill went up. But because the anxiety came down, this naturally came up and your skill got to where you had the potential. So on hole number 10, you go out and you hit two great shots, make two putts and you make par. Hole 11, you go out, anxiety's feeling good, it's low, skill is high, and you make par. Now you're ready, you're going, man, maybe I can make tour. Maybe I can do it, it's all coming together now. And what happens to anxiety is you start thinking, I got it. Now the pressure starts going up because you're even par after two, you're doing better than usual. So anxiety goes up and what goes down? Skill. And then you make double, bogey. And then because double bogey, and then the next hole is a par three over water, where's anxiety? Up here. Skill gets here. And now here you go. 13, 14, 15, 16, until hole 17 you don't care anymore. Anxiety lowers, skill naturally comes up, you don't care, you hit the best drive of the day. How do you keep it this way? How do you keep anxiety level so that skill stays level and doesn't get in the way? You do it by how you practice. And one way that you could do it is, do it as GMS does alternating clubs. What we do is we go out, you get walk up with a driver, you hit it to the target. Good, bad, or ugly, you step back, you put down your driver and you pick up your wedge. Walk up, hit your wedge. Put down your wedge, pick up your driver again, hit your driver. Put it down, hit your seven. Now you're simulating the golf course. As you're doing that, you're learning the anxieties of switching clubs and switching targets. And that's what it is out on the golf course. And then once you can get doing that, you're gonna be better on the course. And then you start doing it where somebody's timing you, where you have seven seconds to get up with your driver, get set up, take a deep breath and go. And learn to do it in seven seconds or 10 seconds, but a, a fast time like you do it on the course. And practice that way so that when you're on the course, anxiety is right here and skill is right here. And the more you practice that, the lower anxiety gets and the higher skill gets. This is Mark Solomon with Golf Made Simple saying thank you for listening to me. Thank you Indian Wells Golf Resort, Joe Williams, for the greatest office in the world. Thank you Troon Golf. 
everybody. Looking forward to seeing you next week. God bless. Have a great, safe week.